Welcome back. Today we're talking about Saab and how they have successfully conducted the trial, which marks the first time an exterior 3D printed part has been flown on a Gripen, which is a lightweight single engine fighter jet. That's right, on the outside, it's a body panel. Uh, you know, to contrast with all the internal 3D printed components we see, like brackets and whatnot, the purpose of this trial was to test how additive manufacturing could be used in battlefield damage repair. The test flight took place in the skies above Saab's facilities in Sweden on March 19th of this year, and the fighter was fitted with a replacement hatch that had been 3D printed using SLS 3D printing with a nylon polymer called PA2200. Now this is a huge step towards 3D printed spares being used for rapid repairs to fighter aircraft that have sustained damage while deployed on remote operations, thereby gaining a vital time-saving advantage. Now since there was no 3D computer model of the original hatch, it was actually removed from the aircraft, put into a 3D scanner, and they created an exact copy which would then be 3D printed, tailor-made to this individual aircraft. They ended up having great results, stating that the post-flight initial inspection of the hatch was very positive and showed no visual structural changes had occurred from the flight. The potential of this approach means that the maintenance personnel in the field can get access to individually fitted spare parts and you no longer have to resort to emergency fixes nor cannibalize other broken down aircraft for their parts, while also further reducing the small number of parts brought out on a deployment. This also reduces the entire operational time loss during repair. This test flight of a component with operational impact is an important step as an aircraft, including all of its parts, always has to meet the tough requirements of an airworthiness process. In terms of increasing operational availability in the field, additive manufacturing will be a game changer. Now, while Saab's recent flight test represents a significant step forward in its adoption of 3D printing, it has already deployed the technology to create multiple internal parts for its aircraft. Over five years now, the firm's worked closely with GKN Aerospace to certify flight-ready components and also to develop PBF processes or powder bed fusion processes and different materials that reduce cost and lead times during aerospace production. We expect to see a lot more stories like this, so make sure you're subscribed if you liked it and hit that like button since it helps us out with the YouTube gods. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.